When we first started Cultus Wake Surf Company, we were unable to fund the appropriate funding dealing with banks and other institutions. But dealing with Community Futures, we were able to find the right funding to operate here at Cultus Lake. Not only did they give me a mentor to work with me one-on-one -on -one and help me grow our Instagram and our Facebook page, they also were just extremely helpful with any questions we had in regards to starting up a business. When we were approaching the brick and mortar project, we kind of started thinking about all those big picture things and Community Futures became the obvious choice of people that we should probably be talking to. When I took the Community Futures business course to expand into the restaurant, I was able to really bring things in and have an actual understanding of our business and how our business was working and the numbers and the finances. Tourism is just the vehicle that we're using to deliver a much stronger message. And at the end of the day, that's, that's really what inspired us. We had heard about Community Futures and some of the work that they do, so we started a relationship with them. And it's probably our most important relationship that we have in our business. You could tell right from their leadership, right from their board of directors, to their management staff, to their staff, you could just tell that they care about their clients. They want to see Indigenous businesses, entrepreneurs succeed. Working with Community Futures was incredible because Usually I don't apply for grants because it's so much work, so much paperwork and with them, they came to us and said, how can we support you? How can we get your farm growing? I come in in the morning and I open things up and I have to take a pause and remind myself that, wow, this is a business we were able to start and grow. Absolutely very grateful for all of the support we've had from friends, family and of course Community Futures. Community Futures Treaty 7, I found out about them a few years ago when we started talking about you know obtaining a loan to expand on our business since then we've we've had a really good relationship the people that work there are really awesome probably out of all the other places they're probably number one in my books i would definitely say going to community futures was the biggest stepping stone from going from just something written on a piece of paper to actually doing it it was very easy very relaxed we went there and the people were friendly and straightforward. They helped us get everything set up within a matter of days, actually. It worked out really, really well. And once the business plan was approved and they could see the value in what we had to offer, they just went ahead smooth, very, very smooth. I'm proud of what I do because it's very personal to me. I put as much as I can into every single client. My advice for other entrepreneurs is just to go for it. You put in your heart and you get back so much. Be patient with the process. There are people around you that want to help. Find those people and do the very best you can. Don't hold yourself up to anyone else's standards. I've worked with most of the people in, in Community Futures, uh, mostly with Tammy. They gave me my startup costs to get the business going for equipment and um, supplies. Uh, I benefited through the Entrepreneurs with Disabilities. They actually helped me to do all the planning that I had to my business plan, the process, getting the loan and uh, helping me get set up. It definitely was beneficial. Um, if you ever have a problem, you just give them a call. They either know how to uh, solve the problem or they search out people who can help you. So you're never left hanging, you know. Through the Community Futures program, the Cheese Gallery was actually able to get started. And we are almost six years old now and have five staff with us, sometimes six, maybe seven this summer. And so they were instrumental in, uh, in helping me get the business up and growing. And in fact, we just added an espresso and pastry bar, which has been a fantastic success. Their whole agenda is to help grow local businesses, support the local economy and the community. Just going to talk with them, uh, you can learn a lot and there's a lot of things that they can do to help you out. We had loan funding from them, which was extraordinarily helpful. They would reach out without even us asking. They'd say, how are you doing? We're here to help if you need anything. If you need to defer a payment, you need any more money, well, let us know and we'll try and we'll work together kind of thing and get you settled. And to know that they're so personable and they know who you are as well, I mean, that makes a big difference versus if you were walking to like a big office building to try to see a financial institution and, and, and get some help. They are very caring. They've been uh, concerned about our business and they've been following up and we really appreciate their support. Et ça des signes nous a guidé euh, à travers euh, le fonction, fonctionnement du financement parce que mon frère et moi on est vraiment zéro au niveau de, de tout ce qui est euh, 
tout ce qui est ressources financières. La SADC m'a énormément aidé. Euh, fait qu'on a comme, tu sais, moi j'ai refait mon plan d'affaires. Euh, puis après ça, on est parti de là pour les prévisions financières. Qu'est-ce qui était possible? Est-ce que c'était logique? C'est vraiment l'approche humaine, le soutien. Euh, dès qu'on a une question, dès qu'on a quelque chose, Edith euh, euh, est super gentil. Elle est toujours là de, au bout du téléphone pour, euh, pour nous aider, pour nous répondre. Là. Donc, eux, euh, nous ont vraiment beaucoup aidé là, là, à partir le projet. Là, là, ça, c'est sûr et certain. Sans la SADC, on ne serait pas ici, ça, c'est sûr et certain. When I first thought about starting my own business, I thought it might be a difficult or even a, a scary thing to leave secure employment and go out on my own. But the CBDC really helped me to overcome uh, that fear and they had lots of support for me. CBDC helped me with funding to purchase my own building. So I moved my business. They walked me through step by step through all the paperwork. Extremely helpful. Could never have done it without them. CBDC gave a chance for our dream to come true. They stepped up, they believed in us. The difference between CBDC and working with some of the other lenders we've worked with over the years is really that they're part of our community and that they understand our business and they understand the factors that impact our business. When you're operating a small business in a rural community, you really want whoever your lenders are to understand your business and CBDC has definitely always offered us that. I was just short a little bit of the funding and my mother who owned a business knew of CBDC. I started researching them and once I called them I went in and had a meeting with them and explained to them my idea and they were extremely supportive of it and they gave me the funding that I needed but without them I couldn't have I couldn't have started it. If you are a small business owner out there and you're looking to grow your business, I encourage you to call CBDC and just see what they can do for you. Ask the questions that you have and they are there to hold your hand and help you through every step. They really want to see you succeed. What she said.